1875, it was originally built as a single story building. There's some wood on the other side in the wall that actually shows where the original ceiling height was. And it's been everything from a Safeway to a Greyhound station. Um, it's had many different, um, it's been many different markets. Um, in the 60s, it was the Maple Cafe, which was not just a restaurant, but also an ice cream shop and a candy store. And when the Maple Cafe was here, they had tables set up along this window as well. And within the last year, we've had a couple that comes in maybe once a month, and they sit at table 14, which is at the middle window on Perkins Street here. And my host one day just asked them why they always requested that table, because they would wait until that table was empty, and then they would sit down there. And what they told him was that that's where they first met. That's where they fell in love. That's where they would come to have a soda together. And they're still doing it 50 years later. We, we do a wide variety of music here. Um, it's, it's, the crowd that gathers is quite often a crowd that is attracted to that particular genre of music. But what we often have happen, in fact, uh, I was recently in a class and a woman jumped up and said, you guys had, this was a, a woman maybe in her 50s, said you guys had a rock and heavy metal band in there the other night. And that's not my music, but I walked in there and the energy was incredible. And, you know, these guys were really, really good. And I, I, I was just going to check it out for a second and I ended up staying for two hours. So that to me is really fantastic. Also, you know, we introduce different types of music to people. We introduce new foods to people. Um, hopefully now we're introducing some new beers to people. Um, that's, that's what I love about this place. Local food is a passion of my family's. Local food is produced by independent farmers um, and brought to us normally by them and stuff that we use as fresh as it could possibly be and you know having the money go directly to the farmer not through a warehouse or a middleman but directly to the farmer. Um, same with you know meats. Get lamb directly from Redwood Valley and hand a check directly to the, to the rancher. Yeah, the Ukiah Brewing Company definitely is a kid-friendly place. We'll have two rules, no running, no screaming. As long as we can kind of conform to no running, no screaming, there is always children underfoot. I, I've always wanted a place that would be kid-friendly. Of course, we had kids, but where the kids could feel comfortable running around, walking around, and enjoying each other, and, uh, and not feel like it was not accepted. I think that's the kind of place where parents can really come and be comfortable and have their kids run amok with other kids and enjoy themselves. So I think that's important. Um, I would love to see this, this business continue to grow and fit into the community. I want to see my community remain small. I want to see it remain a tight community where people meet each other and we get to know all our neighbors. And I'd love to see this company become employee owned. I'd love to see a couple of folks step up and say, I think this is what I want to do for the next 10 years. And start transferring ownership of the company to them so that I can go to Argentina and do it all over again.